You know, when people don't understand spiritual things, they take pride in the wrong things. Somebody wants to go see the governor, he announces it to everybody, he wears his best dress, which is good, but we have meetings superior to meeting with men. They say, you have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, to an innumerable company of angels, to the spirit of just men made perfect. You have come to a higher assembly. There are meetings we attend that is superior to what is held in a co-hotel and suits. That's why nothing on earth is qualified to gain our pride. We don't put our pride on earthly things. We now appear among princes in the spirit. And this is why a man who doesn't pray, he doesn't know what prayer is. They say, come for fellowship. You stroke casually. Fellowship is not a place to come casually. Fellowship is a place to come like a king. It's called the ecclesia. Representatives of different dimensions of God are meeting. I told you yesterday, it says some are prophets. It says some are kings. Some are wise men. Some are healers. We are a conglomeration of dimensions of God. And that's why the fullness of God is the church and the Christ. So when you come here, you are coming for a meeting that is of the highest excellency. Because you have been made righteous. You cannot participate. You cannot interact with things that are immortal. See, people who don't know these things, they are struggling to be accepted. When they are praying, they are conscious of their weakness. They are conscious of their rejection. No, when we are weak, that's when we pray. Because there is another word where we draw sufficiency from. He said, for we know not what to pray for as we ought to. He said, but the Spirit himself helped our infirmities with groanings that cannot be altered. Nothing defeats you anymore because now you have partnership in realms beyond time. I tell people, your friends on earth should not be more than your friends in the spirit. No. No. The word of the spirit is superior to the natural world. By all means, connect to Zion. Connect to Zion. There are angels there. There are elders there. There are spirit of judgment made perfect there. All of these beings are waiting for fellowship and interaction. Did you not read about Jesus? When Jesus became tired, he went to pray. He said, angels came to strengthen him. Because the disciples couldn't help in that time. Another time, he said in Matthew 17, verse 2 and 3, as he prayed, the fashion of his countenance was altered. His raiment began to glister. And he said, suddenly, there appeared Moses and Elias. These are just men made perfect. And so when Jesus wants to interact, there is a higher realm of interaction. How can I be depressed? Because somebody lied against me. Somebody lied against me. If men fail me on earth, I look for men in heaven. Men are not only on earth. When John was carried to heaven, he wanted to worship the angel. He said, worship me not. I'm one of your brethren. They are not only men on heaven. They are men on the other side. And can I shock you? Every dimension you carry is a spiritual lineage. You are not the first carrying it. If you are a singer, there was once a David who could play harp and summon angelic entities. And so if things go wrong, all the singers on earth can betray you. Look for the worshippers that have crossed over. We are a mystical being. You don't know that? All the prophets betray you. Don't worry. They are not only prophets on earth. Daniel has crossed over. Elijah has crossed over. If Jesus could talk to them, you can interact with them in those realms. Don't be troubled. You see people running helter skelter trying to win the favor of men. If God gives you favor with men, that's beautiful. But our advantage is not only in time. Come to Mount Zion. He said, who is it that can wield that kind of power? He said, he that is of a clean hands, of a pure heart, that has not lifted up his soul in vanity. And so if I want to be insured in my relationship, all I need to do is to stay humble, stay holy, stay pure. And I know everybody can betray me. Everybody can disappoint me. I will not be bitter. I will not be broken. I will not be depressed. Anybody that leaves, he is supposed to leave. His story with me has ended. But there is a realm where we draw strength from. We draw strength. We draw strength. We draw strength. He said I was in the isle called Patmos. Patmos is the island of death. The word Patmos means death. So when he said Isle of Patmos, it means the island of my death. They rejected him. Nobody stood for him. 
Nobody was even strong to defend him. They took him to that eye. Because church history told us they tried to kill him, they couldn't. That was John. They pulled him at the back of chariots, he won't die. They threw him to oil, he won't die. So they took him to an island and said, we separate you from civilization. Die of loneliness, die of depression. But he said, I was in the spirit on the lost day. I was in the spirit on the lost day. And I heard a sound as of a trumpet. And as I turned, I saw seven golden lampstands. And he saw the one who was, who is, and who is to come. He began to interact with another civilization. And when he finished with Jesus, in Revelation 4 verse 1, he said, I heard a voice from heaven, and a door opened, and he said, come up here. And as he turned, he saw 20 and 4 elders. In Revelation chapter 5, he said, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice. In Revelation 19, he saw another person, he wanted to worship, he said, no, I'm your brother. So in one encounter, he met Jesus, he met the 24 elders, he met the four beasts, and he met spirit of just men made perfect. How can such a man be lonely? From the island of Patmos, he started writing letters. And they say, whoever read this letter is blessed. How can a man sentenced to death become a source of blessing? Because there are realms. There are dimensions. We are not of earth. We are on earth, but we are of heaven. I write to the church of Ephesus. I write to the church of Pergamos. I write to the angel of the church of Sardis and a man who was sentenced for death began to bring the chronicles of the ancients and he was communicating the oracles of God not just to men but to churches because our reality does not end in time we are on earth but we are of heaven when Jesus was walking in Nazareth he said the son of man which is in heaven we don't begin here we came from a realm ancient and we came here to communicate the life of that realm. And so our assignment here is to bring that dimension here.